Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Dudeja. I am working as Technical Lead SD4 at Adobe and here I present the weekly contest 295. This is the first question of the contest and it is rearrange characters to make target string. Here in this question we are given two strings S and target string. What do we need to identify? We need to identify the maximum number of copies that can be generated from this S string of this target string and you are free to rearrange the characters present in S. So without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation where I'll talk about how to solve this question now. Lead code double two eight nine rearrange characters to meet target. This is an easy level question on lead code and I also feel the same. Also in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are stated in the description. So do check them out. I have identified the frequency of each character present in my target string. I have identified the frequency of same characters present in my string S. So C occurs 2, O occurs 4 times, D occurs 2 times, E occurs 4 times. And I simply divide the frequency of these characters by the frequency of my target uh, string target string characters. So 2 by 1 gives me 2. So for with respect to C, 2 instances of code can be generated. Let's move ahead. 4 by 1, 4 by 1 gives you 4. So with respect to O, four instances of code can be generated. Let's proceed ahead. With respect to D, two by one gives you two. Therefore, uh, two instances of code can be generated. Let's proceed ahead. Four by one gives you four. So two, four instances of code can be generated. And what we will then we will take out the minimum one out of these four. What is the minimum one out of these four? It is two. So the answer becomes two. The limiting characters are C and D and this is what we need to identify. So at max we can only create two instances of string code and I'll exactly follow the same steps. Let's quickly walk through the coding section and it's really simple guys. Uh, I have created a helper method that tells me the frequency of each character in string S. I, I have applied it over string S. I have similarly done it for string T. I have taken an answer variable and initialized it to max value. I iterate over all the characters of English English language 0 to 26. If my frequency at t index is greater than 0, what do I do? I update my ANS to math.minimum frequency s at ith index divided by frequency t at ith index and I, I take the minimum one out of this value and the ANS. Once I am done with this, I simply compare it with my max dot value. If it is equal, then I return 0, otherwise I return the answer. So let's try this up. Pretty simple and straightforward. The time complexity of this approach is order of n because you are iterating through both these strings only once. The space complexity is constant time. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it.